Mark Self from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2349. Insert a row and the formula automatically copies. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today's question tweeted by Rob. He says, if I'm using a table and one of the columns has a formula in it, is there a way to automatically include that formula when I insert a new row? And Rob, thanks for uh, tagging at Mr. Excel. All right, so couple of things, Rob. What I tweeted back to you is my second solution. The first solution, it's interesting, this should just work. Uh, so here I have a table and there's formulas out here. We'll do control in the Grav accent key and you can see that I have the same formula in all of the cells all the way down. Press that key again to go back to normal mode and if I insert something in the middle right here, so Alt-I-R and we'll type Rob with sales of 150. As soon as I type the 150, then it will add that formula automatically for me. And this only happens if you have three or more consecutive rows with the same formula. And if in File, Options, Advanced, Extend Data Range, Formats, and Formulas is checked. Now it's checked by default, so you would have had to turn this off at some point uh, in the past. And it also works down here, so if I had Paul uh, with 100, uh, it automatically does that, right? So it should be working. Uh, but the way that I suggested is to use the, the table functionality. This came along in Excel 2007. Uh, here on the Home tab or on the Insert tab, the table. Uh, make sure your data has headings, format as table. You can choose any format you want. My table has headers, all right? And the table functionality has some interesting things. If I would come here and add Paula with 180, it automatically updates. And you'll notice, I'm going to undo, uh, that they already copied the formula in as soon as I inserted the row. Or here, if I would insert a row and add Abby with 250, uh, see that automatically works. But there are a number of ways that this can get broken. For example, here is a table where all of the items in that last column did not have the same formula. So some people are getting uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. There's different answers. And when we create a table out of this, so Control T, click OK, and then we add someone new. See, they don't know what to do. They don't know what is going to go in there, right? So if your table started out without the same formula all the way down, well, then it's not going to work. The other way to break this is if, let's say that we have to do an override here. So Hank sold 210, but we have some reason that we need to give Hank more. Uh, if I would just come here and edit that formula and say plus, uh, I don't know, we're giving him a $500 bonus. Now watch these. This is Andy at 210. And when I press Enter here, it gives a $500 bonus to everybody, right? Now that's annoying. I don't want that to happen. So I come to the little on-grid UI here and say, stop automatically creating calculated columns. And it goes back and gives me a note that this is not consistent with the other formulas. But once you've turned that off, then you may or may not have the behavior that you're expecting in the future. So Rob, hey, it should, should be working. Something strange has happened that's causing it to not work for you. Well, hey, we're on a quest for a better merchandise shelf. I'm looking for 100,000 subscribers. Please, down below the video, click subscribe. My new book, Mr. Excel 2020, Seeing Excel Clearly. Click the I in the top right-hand corner uh, for more information about that. Well, hey, I want to thank Rob for tweeting me that question, and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Tips and tricks, get your spreadsheet fixed at MrExcel.com.